Have you listened to this Klaus Schwab guy who says that uh, he's going to be build back better the world, the World Economic Forum? Yeah, it's fine. They can build back better. But now, have you ever asked yourself, is better than what? Yes, they're building back better, but uh, it's better than what? Because it's, it, if, if I'm building something better, then it must have been built before. So, who created the first thing? And uh, was it faulty or something? So, what is this that they're building? They're literally rebuilding the world rebuilding every system rebuilding all the things that we see rebuilding the whole world in a so-called better way so who actually built the first world look at what the bible says god himself he built all these things look at what the bible says here in genesis chapter 1 verse 10 um yeah, let's let's say from verse nine. And God said, "Let the let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear." And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters, He called them seas. And God saw that it was good. What God created, He saw that it was good. Listen again. And God said, "Let the earth bring forth grass." Herb yielding seed and the fruit, fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after its kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself and after its kind. And God saw that it was good. God has created the trees and the the seeds are in themselves. Have you discovered that these people, what they are doing right now? They are creating some types of fruits, plants, which do not have the, the seed in itself. They have uh, commercialized. Look at uh, most of the grapes. We find them, they are seedless nowadays. Where is the seed? They are building back better. Hmm. Building back better. I'm going to tell you exactly what this whole thing is building back better is all about because if God created and he saw everything that he was creating was good then who are you to just wake up and say no 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 God um, you didn't create it the perfect the way it's supposed to be we're going to make it better than you this is blasphemy of the highest degree blasphemy of the highest degree how can you just wake up and tell God uh, you are an, am an amateur in what you are doing so we have to build back better than you. Build back better than you. A created being telling the creator that he will build. <laughs> Listen to this. Uh, verse 14. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. Let them be for lights in the firmament. And let them let them be for lights in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so and god made two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also now have you seen uh, the the project whereby they are i think it was china they have created their their own sun sun you know the sun sun and the moon sun they have created a sun which they are saying is 10 times hotter than the original sun. They are building back better than God. They are creating a better sunlight. You know? <laughs> and these people, I think man has reached the height of iniquity. The height of, you know, being there whereby God is just looking at man and he's saying, you man, you're beyond repair right now. Now it's me to come down. I have to come down. And this one tells us that the rapture is very near. Because we have reached at the height of uh, blaspheming God. Blaspheming God in so much that now we want to rebuild what he has built. 
listen to this uh, verse 20 of Genesis 1 says and God said let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that has life and the fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven and God created great wells and the every living creature that moveth which the which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every wrinkled fall after its kind and God saw that it was good are you seeing these people recreating animals right now there's actually an animal called liger that is a mixture of a lion and a tiger there's also a mule which is a mixture of a, 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 I, I believe is a, is it a, it's a zebra and a, zebra and a horse is it donkey donkey and a horse right donkey and a horse it's called a mule they are mixing creatures there's even a, a, a passage i think is the book of isaiah where they're saying where the bible says that they they shall mingle the they shall mix the mouse mouse and the pig right do you remember that verse sally it's mouse and the pig the, the, the pig the the swine and the mouse they're going to be mixed together these are things which are different kinds and if they are different kinds and the bible says let everything reproduce after its own kind then uh, they're building back better maybe better than god they this is the height of hypocrisy how can how can you just build back better than what god created god had a reason to make everything of it after its own kind and again now not only that even human beings very soon they are going to be not really after their own kind they, they are going to do just exactly what was happening in genesis chapter 6 mixing angels and humans just go and see what the bible says in daniel chapter 2 verse 43 it says just as you saw iron mixing with miry clay they shall mingle they whoever they are whoever those fellas called it, they are they are going to mingle themselves with the seed of men meaning they are not men they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men but they shall not cleave one to another just as iron does not mix with clay yes they are going to mix two different kinds and it's happening right now you have seen it it's happening right now right now iron mixing with clay this is clay this is iron iron mixing with clay so that we can build back better better than what God created when God said that it was all good was he joking oh he looked and he said what I've created of it after its own kind is really beautiful really nice but now people don't want to hear what is nice what God has created they want their own things hmm all right all right listen to this verse 24 and god said let the earth bring forth living creature after its kind i think that one i've read uh, and verse 25 and god made the beast of the earth after its kind the cam- the cattle after its kind everything that creepeth upon the earth after its kind and god saw that it was good it was good like that the way he created it okay he didn't want us to recreate them better he only wanted us to maintain that's why he gave us dominion over these things he told us dominate these things don't recreate them but dominate and god said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fall of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth so god created man is in in his own image in the image of god created he him male and female created them he them now did god give dominion to recreate his uh, creation did he give man dominion to recreate his creations no i didn't see any verse here telling us that let's see what kind of dominion were we given 
God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and that let them have dominion over what? The fish of the sea, of the fall of the earth, over the, the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth. So our dominion is literally just to dominate and just to, you know, take care, take care of what God has already created. So we are not creating our, our own creatures. We are only dominating what God has created. We are not building back better. We are living in a world already created by God because he wants us to live in that world because we are his creation, living in his own world that he has created. So when you want to build again better than God, then uh, I think that is, that is blaspheming God. And God blessed them and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fall of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. So how are we supposed to how are we supposed to be many in this world? Is it through cloning? Is it through, you know, uh, different styles of creating, you know, artificial intelligence, adding robots? within you know <laughs> the bible tells us here that uh, be fruitful and multiply give birth but we are not multiplying by having uh, you know uh, things that are not i don't want to say many words you know and god said behold i've given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth and every tree in which the fruit in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat. Mm. Every herb shall be for meat. Right now, are you seeing the way things are like? People are literally eating chemicals. Are they eating herbs? You're literally, when you enter into those KFCs and you enter into all this, just go and look a video, check a video about what's the ingredients of those things that you eat in the fast foods. And you'll, you, you'll thank me later. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fall of the air, and to every thing that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I've given it, given every green herb for meat, and it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. Everything that he made, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. So God created everything and it was really good so when you see an old bald man with the two glasses wearing in his forehead he looks like a demon himself and telling people that now we need to recreate what God has created he doesn't even know he himself he looks as if he's dying the next minute because he's too old to even think I wonder what is wrong with the minds of these people? No wonder the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Some people are not humans. We don't wrestle with human beings. We are wrestling with principalities out there. Things that you cannot really understand. When you look at the, some people speaking on TV, you wonder, is this really a human or is it a demon speaking? Because how can you just say that what God has made is, is fake and I have to build it better? Friends, it's about time we know the kind of the kind of world that we're living in right now, and the and the hour, the hour that we're living in. You have to know what what hour we are in, and put your hours in order, because Jesus is coming back soon, very very soon. Just before these fools build their world, this fake world that they're going to build. The author of confusion is giving them because they are led by the author of confusion who is Satan himself. Before the author of confusion confuses himself by trying to rebuild things which he cannot rebuild, he's, also, he's only just a copycat. He has nothing of his own. He's literally what Satan does. He's just re <laughs> All these technologies we see is God given. This is, he's just copying what God has. He has nothing of himself. No wonder he says in the book of Isaiah chapter 14, I will be like the Most High. Like the Most High. Because he cannot be like himself. Because he has nothing original. 
So before the other shops and all these other confused fellas confuse themselves with building another world, I believe we'll be out of this place. We'll come back again in the Battle of Armageddon. And I can't wait to have my rod of iron to show those people the way. God bless you and have a good time.